Seven, aka Sound of Sky Says It, and oh, happy day! It got cancelled. Yes, yes. Thundercats Roar. Yes. Well, you know, it took me a while to um, hit this little subject, but, uh, well, you know, I've been busy with other stuff and uh, bullshit with, and other uh, bullshit, but I guess you here's my two cents on it. Honestly, I am so glad that dumpster fire of a show is fucking canceled. This is big. This is, and I got the word from it off of uh, Clownfish TV. Good. I trust. Yeah, apparently the show has been canceled officially. Officially, they're gonna air the final few episodes that they made, and then it's going on. And I, and honestly, I'm not surprised that this show was canceled. After all, it was never, it was never uh, a good show. I tried watching the, I tried watching the first few episodes of that fucking dumpster fire, fire itself, and it was like, what the fuck am I watching? I can't even get any through, I can't even get through the episode while we are like, this is supposed to be good. I mean, who is this? Is who is this? Is actually made for? Like really? Thing is, is that the reason why that that show was being made because most because they were trying to capitalize on the someone popular popular Teen Titans Go, which if we're gonna be honest, which is gonna be honest, is like is a way better despite its flaws. It's despite taking them together, it's a better show than um than, t than Thundercats Roar. And this guy said that he that he made the show because he grew up watching the show. Acts that's that that's a bullshit that's a bullshit lie if I ever heard one. That dude made the show because he hated because he is like every other fucking idiot uh, idiot uh Tumblr Tumblr artist and writer. They hate they hate the eighties show so damn much. So they they wanna create wanna reboot a show just so they can show how much they hate the eighties and hate 80s accent cartoons and try to make it in their own version like it's better it's like one of those stupid ad it's like one of those stupid idiots on twitter who takes a, a really cute uh anime anime drawn characters female anime characters and then they who are you know really cute and then they change and then they make them fat over make them overweight overweight fat and all that and then they say fixed trust me and trust me it ha and trust me if you be on twitter long enough you know what I'm, you know what the fuck i'm talking about i mean jeez like ugh. but but anywho but anywho yeah but anyway this ain't mo this is less to do this is less of a re thunder guys roar is less of a reboot and more of a deboot and honestly, people, and honestly, it got so much hate on this that instead of them actually addressing it and saying, okay, we're sorry, we didn't make it, they decided to go out it. So much so that they decided to make a Teen Titans Go Thundercats War episode to uh, mock the people who actually hated the game. I mean, hated the movie. I mean, not, not the movie, hated the uh, show. In fact, it got so bad that they had the original voice actor of Lionel, OG Lionel, to be precise, from the 80s, come out and on the show and said that said that Thundercats War is the is the greatest incantation of Thundercats, and anybody else who had a problem with it has poopy opinions. Yeah, that's the kids version, but but the layman, but the Real versions say like the thunder that anybody who has a problem has shit opinions, and I was like, really, bruh? And I grew up with OG Lion though. I mean, heck, it was like, really, you, you really, do you want to check that bad? Eesh. I mean, seriously, I mean, that, I mean, heck, that is so fucked up. I mean, that's like, that's like. Having the robot chicken, uh, Lionel said some dumbass bullshit like that. Oh, the only thing, the only difference is he'll say it in a comedic facet, and also the voice actor for old for the Lionel in the in the robot chicken Thundercats one will be Seth MacFarlane, and I like Seth MacFarlane. 
I mean, Thundercats War. Thundercats War is so fucking bad that I like that I watch T Titans Go, and I hated Teen Titans Go. And that's saying, and that's saying something there. But they do have some good episodes. Well, I will say, I will give. I can't really hate the show for it does have some really good episodes. Really good episodes. But honestly, this will be no surprise. But honestly, with this cancellation of Thundercats War, with Nickelodeon's uh, cancellation of Rise of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I think that this should be a fucking clear message to um, to these uh, idiots, these animated idi these lazy uh, artists who that you know you need to um I'm not trying to get more okay that you need to start making your own original shit right stop rebooting sh stop rebooting TV sh classic shows and then try and then try to tell the original fans to fuck off just so and so you can so you get like new fans who is like the part of the SAW crowd crowd um to hop on to it <laughs> do it like, cause you know that's not gonna work. If SCWs don't don't like shows, don't like to be attached to things that they have zero fuck, that gives zero fly fucks about it. And I and I wanted to say like, why can't Hollywood or these animation guys created um new uh stuff? Then I realized the reason why they they do they can't because of fucking Twitter. The fucking idiots on Twitter. It's like creativity is fucking dead, and Hollywood is is creatively bankrupt. And it's and honestly, them them listening to Twitter is their own is their own goddamn fault. That's the reason why, because because you know, back in the day, back in the 90s and the early 2000s, creativity was like fucking boss, right? Everybody makes everybody create some create um, new shows, new characters, and new premise, and new storylines. You know, taking risk and everything. And sometimes, and sometimes the risks does pay off in the end. But now, but now with the, with thanks to the thanks to fucking Twitter, you creativity is dead. Why? Because you can't create new stuff without some idiot um being offended over over it. Cause that's what SAWs do. They be they get offended over every tiny fucking thing. Because they act like oh, dude. like for like I mean seriously, you oh you want to create a character, a, a character regardless of their skin color, regard regardless of the, uh, the character skin color. No, nope, no. Nope. Oh wait, okay. Let me make an example. Like seriously, let's say that I want to create a create a character who is. Who is white? Who is well? Who is a well-written story? Who is well-written? And I was gonna put him on a long journey's adventure where he, where he becomes immature at first, but then he grows. No, will that pass today? Nope. Nope. Why? Because oh, they oh, SJWs hate um, uh, hate white characters, hate uh white male characters. They want, they want me to change the character. To, they want me to change the character to be either a, either a member of the LGBT community or, or of or a person of color or a female person of color who is also a member of the LGBT. See, that's the thing. I can't. See, that's the thing. That's why I'm. That's why I'm. I'm doing my own writing and and right and creating whatever characters I want. See, I can create characters with no fucking problems with no. With no shit whatsoever, and that's just me right there. See, that that's just me. Prob now the problem with Hollywood, they can't do that. Why? Because they're so worried about what the SJWs would 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 write about instead of listening to their own own customers who actually pay customers who's actually paying money. That's why creativity is dead, and that's why we won't see no new stuff. All we're seeing is just fucking reboots and everything. Everything that it, that sh that should look good, that should appeal to everyone, and should bring in not only old fans but new fans in. But no, they want to make it so that only the, the only people who can enjoy it are SJWs, man. And that's not how, and that's not how you um 
make a series successful. That's not how it works. It never does. But like I said, did that should be a fucking wake up card that people need to stop making um need to stop rebooting classic shows and start making new shit. But you know, that that's just like a but you know, I'm just saying what everybody else is thinking and I'm pretty sure people ain't gonna pretty sure uh, nobody, nobody in Hollywood's gonna listen because all they care about is like trying to act like oh we wanna make stuff so that it so that it doesn't offend anybody fuck you and before and I know what you're thinking it's like well you said all that but what about the Animaniacs reboot reboot well I haven't seen the Animaniacs reboot to be perfectly honest probably because I don't have a Hulu so if I do get a Hulu I will definitely check out the Animaniacs reboot. I mean, I could give it a shot. I mean, could be, like I said, could be worse. But honestly, like I said, I am so fucking glad that um, I am so fucking glad that T, not T Tides go. Um, Thundercats War has been canceled. Fuck that show. Fuck that show. Ugh. But yeah, Hollywood. But yeah, but these animations, guys, they really need to start uh, making new stuff, man. I mean, they need to start making new stuff. Stop and take some chances, man. Take some fucking risk. Fuck these. Fuck these idiot uh, Twitter Twitter bobs. They they're not your boss. Shoot. And also and and also, oh yeah, and also I have to say one thing. People need to stop chasing the race and gen the race and gender of already established characters. Make some new shit for God's sake. That shit's getting old and annoying and bullshit. I mean, seriously, stop the shit, all right? Anywho, that's anywho, that's my uh, two cents on the whole matter, and I would like to know your two cents on this one. On this one. So as always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss another update, serve with your friends, serve with your neighbors, serve with your significant other, and you know, do all that little good stuff and all that. And I will see you next time. Until next time, this is Darkside 2K7, aka Sound Sky Chaser, and I will see you see you in the next video. Thank you for taking the time to uh, listen to me ramp talk about this. Um and I hope you have a fantastic holidays. And I want y'all to be safe. Alright, catch you later. But seriously, fuck you, Thundercats Roar, and thank God you're fucking dead. Whoop, 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 whoop. Pop, 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 pop.